This is question 21. The question says, for the logic circuit shown in the figure, the truth table is. Here in a logic circuit is given, this is a NOT gate and this here is an AND gate and the four truth tables to, are given to us. The students, the Boolean expression for this particular logic gate circuit can be written to be equal to the output C is equal to A bar dot B and the corresponding truth table is that is A, B, the output C. If we write down the value of A as 0 and the value of B as 0, the output C will be 0 as A bar dot B will be 1 dot 0 that is 0. If we put the value of A to be equal to 1, B to be equal to 0, the value of C will be equal to 0. Now, if the value of A is equal to 0 and the value of B is equal to 1, the value of C will be equal to 1 as A bar will be equal to 1. So, this will be 1 dot 1 that is equal to 1. And finally, if the value of A is 1, B is 1, the value of C will be 0. And therefore, this is the final truth table. As per the given options, the correct answer is option number B. Now, let us proceed to the next question. This is question 22. In this question, the color code of a carbon resistor is given below. The value of the tolerance limit is, so this is a carbon resistor with the color coding. The four options are 10 percent, 5 percent, 20 percent and 0 percent. Dear students, for solving this question, we must remember the color coding of the carbon resistor. We know that the first three bands denote the digits and the multiplier, that is the power to which the 10 is being raised. Here in the blue corresponds to the value of 6, the violet corresponds to a value of 7, the next band which will be the power of 10 is brown and brown corresponds to 1. So, this will be 67 into 10 raised to power 1, wherein the last band where it is gold in this case denotes the value of tolerance limit. So, this will be ohms plus minus 5 percent. The tolerance of gold is 5 percent, for the silver it is 10 percent and if there is no color on the fourth band then the tolerance is 20 percent. Therefore, for this question the correct answer is option number B that is 5 percent. Moving on to the next question, the next question is question 23. This question says the capacitance of a capacitor with dielectric medium is 8 millifarad. On removing the dielectric medium, the capacitance becomes 2 millifarad. The dielectric constant of the medium is and the four options are 1, 3, 2 and 4. Dear students, the capacitance with dielectric is equal to capacitance with air medium multiplied by the dielectric constant. So, this is the fundamental formula that we will be using here to solve this question. Therefore, the K can be written as capacitance with dielectric divided by the capacitance with air as medium. On substituting the values, this will be 8 millifarad divided by 2 millifarad giving us a value of 4. The dielectric constant has no units and therefore, for this question the correct answer is option number D. Now, let us proceed to the next question. This is question 24. In question 24, a ball is thrown vertically up with a speed of 40 meters per second. The speed of ball at a height 10 meters will be and there are four options 37.4 meter per seconds, 21.4 meter per seconds, 19.6 meter per seconds or the fourth option which is 8.1 meter per seconds. This student to solve this question, we can use the formula that V square is equal to U square plus 2 A S, where A is the acceleration, S is the displacement, U is the initial velocity and V is the final velocity. In this particular case, if we take the upward direction as positive and downward direction as negative, so we can write down that U is equal to plus 40 meters per second as it is thrown vertically upwards. Acceleration will be equal to minus g that is minus 10 meter per second square as the acceleration due to gravity is downwards. The displacement will be plus 10 meters as the displacement is upwards. So, on substituting the values, v square will be equal to 40 square plus 2 into minus 10 into 10, which implies that v turns out to be equal to 37.4 meters per second. And hence, for this question, the correct answer is option number A. Now, moving on to the next question. 
This is question 25. The question says a body weighs 36 Newton at a depth equal to half of the earth radius. The weight of the body on the surface of the earth will be. So, four options are 36 Newton, 18 Newton, 54 Newton or 72 Newton. Dear student, to solve this question, we must understand that the variation of acceleration due to gravity with depth is as follows that g dash is equal to g 1 minus d by r, where d is the depth from the surface and g is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth. Now, if you multiply by mass on both sides, mg dash will be equal to mg into 1 minus d by r, where mg dash and mg are respective weights at the depth and the surfaces. So, it is given that if d is equal to r by 2, mg dash is equal to 36. So, we can write down 36 is equal to mg 1 minus r by 2 divided by r. On solving this, we get a value of mg to be equal to 72 Newton and this will be the weight on the surface of the earth. And therefore, for this question, the correct answer is option number D. Now, proceeding to the next question.